السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد We have been discussing a commentary of the greatest ayah in the Quran ayah al-kursi and we said that Allah Ta'ala makes a claim Allah لا إله إلا هو none worthy of worship but he and then Allah Ta'ala provides for us 10 proofs why he is the only one worthy of worship and we had discussed five of them thus far today insha'Allah we continue with the proofs that Allah Ta'ala provides for us in this greatest ayah of the Quran Kareem Ayatul Kursi where Allah Ta'ala is mentioned at least 18 times no other ayah has Allah referred to as many times as in this ayah and therefore this is one of the greatest ayah so today we continue with the sixth proof of why Allah Ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship remember we spoke Allah la ilaha illa hu al hay al qayyum la ta'khuduhu sinatu wa la nawm له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه Today يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم He knows what is before them and what is behind them He knows each one's past and each one's future He knows all about your life in this world as well as about your life in the future meaning they are after. Allah's knowledge encompasses everything from beginning to end. Allah's knowledge is limitless. Reflect on Ayah 59 of Surah An'am. وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِيحُ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْلَمُهَا إِلَّا هُو With him are the keys of the unseen. No one knows them but he. He knows what is in the land and in the sea. No leaf ever falls but that he knows about it. And there is no grain in the dark layers of the earth or anything fresh or dry that is not recorded in a manifest book. So Allah Ta'ala has every knowledge. And then this takes us to the seventh proof. وَلَا يُحِيطُونَ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنْ عِلْمِهِ إِلَّا بِمَا شَاءٍ Whilst they encompass everything of his knowledge, whilst they encompass nothing of his knowledge except what he wills. So combine the two. يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ He knows everything of our future and our past. However, we لا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء while they encompass nothing of his knowledge except what he wills nothing except what Allah wills whatever mankind has knowledge of is only that portion that Allah wills to share and that is a minute portion in comparison to the limitless knowledge of Allah Ta'ala that encompasses everything the entire human race put together do not have a minute knowledge even of a mosquito. This brings us to the eighth proof. وَسِعَ كُرْسِيُّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ His kursi, his chair, extends to the heavens and the earth. Firstly, we cannot even comprehend the throne or the chair. It is not as we have our chairs but it is as it deserves to be. Allah Ta'ala in His wisdom did not disclose its characteristics. However, in a hadith, its greatness is mentioned. The Arsh and the Kursi are two separate entities. The Arsh is mentioned 11 times and the Kursi is mentioned only in this ayah, Ayatul Kursi, hence the ayah gains his name from this mention of the kursi. So we do not know much of it except that it is a magnificent creation of Allah Ta'ala. And it encompasses all that is in the heavens and the earth. 
and all that we spoke of up to now in all our series that we had discussed. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, the seven heavens are in relation to the kursi like a ring thrown into a waterless desert. And the superiority of the arsh over the kursi is like the superiority over the desert over that ring. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned regarding the great throne of Allah Ta'ala. The arsh is over the water and Allah is over the arsh and He knows what you do. The arsh is the greatest of all things that Allah has created over which our Lord Allah Ta'ala rose in a manner that befits His Majesty. When our whole universe is located in the lowest heaven, can you even begin to imagine the size of the kursi? And if the kursi extends over the entire universe, then how much greater is the arsh? So Allah Ta'ala says, يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ وَلَا يُحِيطُونَ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنْ عِلْمِهِ إِلَّا بِمَا شَعْ وَسِعَ كُرْسِيُّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ The kursi extends to the heavens and to the earth. It means that his kursi, translated as chair or base of power, is so magnified that its spatial infinity houses within itself the seven heavens and the earth. Allah Almighty is above and beyond sitting and standing. And all spatial locations and placements, such verses should not be taken up on the analogy of our own states and affairs. The comprehension of the state of being and the reality of his attribute is above and beyond our reason and our comprehension. However, there are authentic narrations in a hadith which simply tell us that the arsh translated as a throne, being a seat of authority, and kursi chair, a heavenly body, many times larger than the heavens and the earth. Ibn Kathir reports from Sayyidina Abu Dhar radiallahu ta'ala anhu that he asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as to what the kursi was and what did it look like. He said, by Allah, who is the master of my life, the seven earths and the heavens as compared with the kursi are like a small circle of a finger ring lying on a huge plate. In another narration it has been stated that the kursi as compared to the arsh is also like a circle of a finger ring on a huge plate. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said just to get an understanding of the kursi. Inshallah, I think we'll rather keep this discussion of Rasulullah regarding the kursi and the angels that carry the arsh for our next discussion. But for today, we conclude that the sixth, seventh, and the eighth proof of Allah, of Allah Ta'ala being the only one worthy of worship, يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ His knowledge encompasses the past and the future. يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ وَلَا يُحِيطُونَ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنْ عِلْمِهِ إِلَّا بِمَا شَاءٍ You and I cannot have any knowledge. Our knowledge is minute in comparison to the over-encompassing knowledge of Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala has only given us a small bit of His knowledge. يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ وَلَا يُحِيطُونَ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنْ عِلْمِهِ إِلَّا بِمَا شَاءٍ وَسِعَ كُرْسِيُّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ His chair, his authority expands through the heavens and the earth. Inshallah, we will continue with our next discussion. May Allah Ta'ala provide us the ability through these discourses to have an understanding of the greatness and the might of Allah Ta'ala. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.